Uh, how do I see what Janissaries actually do? Is it an estate? I know the Dimmy has something to do with it. You just recruit from them, you can make a bit of money. I have no idea how Janissaries work. If anyone wants to enlighten me, then please do. It's like one of the gaps in my knowledge. <laughs> the Ottomans. I expected the Ottomans to have the big pushy buttons. But they don't. They are units. Yeah, that's what I thought. You can recruit them from provinces. Well, apparently they just don't have any. That's the only Ottoman army. They just haven't used any Janissaries. Recruit them in the state province for you. Ah, here. Fire damage received, 10 minus 10%, shock damage received, minus 10%, and plus 100% army drill. Again, modifier, however, unlike other special units, Janissaries are reinforced using... Oh, they're 100% more costly to reinforce. In terms of money to reinforce or manpower, I assume that's money. So yeah, they take 10% less damage. Is what Janissaries do. Okay. I can't believe the Commonwealth trapped the entire Ottoman army on Corfu. I was praising the AI for how they were doing, but now you're just hemorrhaging troops to the attrition. 22,000 men and counting to 94,000. Although, it looks like Crimea's doing a bit of damage here. Kind of hilarious. Manpower's gone down by 50,000. Oh, if only Arabia was here, watching from the sidelines going, ooh. Or Timurids. Oh, they've only got 13,000. They can't really monopolize on this. Denmark with 20,000. France with 75. Austria with 50. Prussia with 66. Andalusia with 50. I think Andalusia would be the main military power. Arabia would pay them. Andalusia would fight them. Previously, it would have been the Ottomans, but clearly not anymore. And Commonwealth clearly a little bit concerned by the sheer number of troops just sitting there in that one province. And I think the Ottoman player in the AI settings turned off spend monarch points. Like, you should at least leave the development on so this doesn't happen. That's a lot of wasted monarch points. And the Commonwealth so far showing very little interest in going after Crimea, which does surprise me to an extent. Going after all the forts, that's just for the war score. I mean, they are sitting on 84% here. That Polish Canadian, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And there we go. War is over. So, Commonwealth didn't take a lot of Crimea, except for the Crimea. They did expand down into Bulgaria and a bit of Greece. Moving towards Constantinople, they have a border with it, but they didn't actually take it or Istanbul. And then also, why did they take these two? Why did they take these two? No adjacency, they can't core them. Oh, to feed to Albania, probably. I bet he meant to give those to Albania before he signed that peace deal. <laughs> Ottoman stock in Corfu, stock in Cyprus. Oh, dear. Meanwhile, Delhi has fallen. And Timurids are going after Molwa. We are going to see the Mughals this, this session. 
and Vision Argar have done nothing to prevent it. <laughs> Mole were even trying to finish off Delhi in the meantime. Just straight through. Should have got that guarantee in. Should have done it. Opportunity lost. Meanwhile, who else is fighting? Congo. Congo is fighting. Who are you fighting? Murahan, Kilwa, and Mogadishu. I bet that's not a war you started. Nope. Supporting Ethiopia, going after Murahan to finish off the Gulf of Aden. There is going to be a little bit of trade competition going between these two. I wonder if Arabia's made a deal with Ethiopia about trade going through Aden into Alexandria. Otherwise, they're going to be seeing a lot of trade bleeding away down into here. And Ethiopia also going after Kilwa, stealing that territory. Border gore in the Balkans? How ahistorical. <laughs> and France just got their first three-star general. Really, in 1618, their first three-star. That's quite slow. Or quite unlucky, I should say. You are fighting Delhi, right? They peace out. No, Malt. I thought Timmy was fight. What's happened here? Let's select you. Click on you. Peace with Malwa. You didn't take the province, though. Did you just screw up? Because you need this one province. And you were fighting against Mulwa, you could have taken it. One of the following must be true. Oh, you've already got one. You only need Lahore, Doba, or Central Doab. And you've done it. Okay. And... So all you need is Delhi. So you just need to core Delhi, which you're doing. So, 26th of August, 1620. Two years from now. And we should see the Mughals. Cool. So I guess guaranteeing Molo wouldn't have saved Vijanagar. Mughals, you would have had to have uh, protected Delhi. I doubt that Vijanagar and Delhi were friendly enough. That I can tell. Oh no, they were friendly. No, they weren't. <laughs> Delhi like Vijay, but Vijay is rivaled. Or other way around. Alright, fair enough. Japan! Have you gone after Ming yet? No, Japan is going after Korea, expanding their own territories here in Manchuria. If they're not careful, they could get a border with Ming, which may become rather more antagonistic. Ming, meanwhile, going after Korea? See what the colonial powers are doing. Still going after Brazil. We have Andalusian Brazil expanding a little bit. I wonder what Andalusia is colonizing at the moment. That's a curiosity. Brazil. Brazil. Unless one of those was here. Nope. And that's also Andalusian Brazil. So you just <laughs> split yourself in half. So I guess Andalusia wants to come like down here just to stop Brazil taking the, the hinterlands. I'm not sure if that's really a a good idea. Then we've got Ireland up here in Canada and America. We've got New Brisbane and that's all New Brisbane. That is of course the Netherlands, although they've stuck with the uh, Holland colour. We've got the taco or sausage in Texas. And then Dutch Louisiana, which hasn't actually been named yet. And that's one of the natives. California is still here. Apache is still natives. Divia. Portugal. Coming north into Alaska, I believe that is. Colonial Cascadia. So, yes. 
Oh, hang on, that's a trade. Wait, is that a trade now? Oh, that is a colonial region. Didn't remember it being this big. I thought Alaska was actually more limited. I thought Louisiana came out further, but apparently not. Fair enough. That's Washington, not Alaska. I meant Alaska as in uh, colonial regions, not actual states. Meanwhile, over here, Brunei is actually continuing their expansion in Indonesia. So Brunei should be raking in some serious cash. Building up the uh, sensitive trade. I like that. You've got a level 3 world port over there. 2, 2, 2, 1. So that one still needs to on it. It's not yours. That one's not yours either. So yeah, doing good. Those are both level 2s. Malika playing the trade game very wisely. Sorry. Brunei playing the trade game very wisely in Malika. And now Maluka. Uh, collecting trade here. Hopefully not splitting. You have a lot of merchants. Six. Collecting in only one location. Malika. Good, good. And that is resulting in 15 ducats in trade. It's not too shabby. And as they continue to colonize and develop this area, I'm expecting that number to only go up. Like, Indonesia is worth some serious bank. And if they were able to expand their trade into Philippines, which all feeds into Malacca, and then eventually the Chinese nodes via Hainan and Taiwan. Is it not gone for Taiwan? Dai Viet, but that's a lot of rebels. But pretender rebels, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so Dai Viet might be trying to go into China while Brunei is taking over mostly Indonesia, I guess. Still nobody's taken the Spice Islands. I mean, to be fair, I didn't know about how good the Spice Islands were until later on either. But they are really nice, just because the local goods produced plus three means money. Money, 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 money. Uh, my defense portrait you were calling the in-game province of Oregon, California earlier when talking about where Brunei was. Again, California being the Californian trade node. Sorry. Colonial region, not trade node. I know the difference. Portugal is indeed in East Timor. So, European powers have arrived. And the Netherlands. See, this is a good spot. You get the natural harbour. Trying to get the trade routes in Maluka. Try to nail that, try to nail that, and then grab these two. That's kind of all you need in Malukas. Minimum. Obviously, if you get more, you get more. And then you start fading it into Malacca, so you need a trade hub in Malacca. I think that's where the problems are going to start for them. Brunei just built a ton of stuff. What did you just build? Infantry. Brunei just spotted the Portuguese as well, I guess. Um... So yeah, I wonder how the Europeans are planning to get the trade out of Malacca. That would be the problem which I would consider to be the biggest right now. What the hell are you building, Brunei? Oh, Brunei is in a war with a rather large stack currently attacking them. They do have the manpower for it. I wonder if they just got stack wiped. I think Brunei just got stack wiped. Oops. Like, as long as Brunei holds on to the Malacca trade, centers of trade, the natural harbors and the whatever they're called, um, I think they'll be fine. It's actually kind of difficult to feed trade out of here without owning Malacca. Because Malucca doesn't actually feed into anything, and Malucas are really where the big bucks come from. Oh, don't get me wrong, Malacca's worth... Oh, why do you keep flipping? Malacca's worth a pretty penny. But Maluka's worth more. Why does that? Oh, it's because I've you selected. That's why. My fault. Because once you have Malacca, you can start feeding it into South Africa. You can just bypass India completely. But you can't bypass Malacca from Maluka's. And if you're in the Philippines, you can actually start going the other way. Unfortunately, Maluka's do not feed into Philippines. The Philippines feed into Maluka's. So... 
Yeah, nothing flows up this way. So I do wonder if a deal will be done. The other thing I should really check to see is... Yeah, unfortunately we can't see the trade company interface, so I have no idea what trade charter stuff they're actually building and what they're not. Nearby Merchant Republic. Who would that be? It's not you. Brunei, what government are you? Monarchy. Monarchy. Dutch Republic. Nope, not seeing any Merchant Republics. So a Merchant Republic can multiply the amount of production in any province that they don't own. Which is what I was doing with Tier Hut. I would make sure I'd get a huge amount of trade um, value in these nodes, which would then ramp up the amount of production we were generating. It spices, it's going to be a lot of value anyway. And then exporting it to Bengal, where I would then turn it into cold hard cash. Uh, you could do the same thing if you had a puppet merchant republic or if you yourself were a merchant republic working for a bigger power over here too but I don't think that's what they're trying to do oh Arabia gobbling up the Ottomans so Arabia has finally triggered that fight even though Arabia himself is not here uh, what I wanted to do was see the wars just to see who started it so this is the Arabian conquest of Urfa Arabia with their 14,000 manpower. In fact, let's just take a look at the, the numbers here. 125,000 versus 154. The Ottomans actually have the larger fleet. And Arabia was not joined by Andalusia. And how are the army is looking? Oh, just too late. Although Arabia won, the Ottomans were sent packing. Ottomans still have 26,000 manpower to Arabia's 12, so the Ottomans do just overall outnumber them. And Arabia's fighting Andalusia. Was Andalusia allied to the Ottomans? Oh, they are. Was that a player thing? Was that an AI thing? Both of these being AI, well, in fact, all three of these being AIs right now. Ooh, this is really bad, actually, for the Andalusians. Andalusia AI is just bad. It just does really bad things constantly. And that is one of them. Because this way, these two are really good allies. The two players have been working together actually really well. And this is breaking that apart. This is also weakening both of these powers. They're both costing manpower in a war that shouldn't have happened. All of the missing players are at war, it seems. Yeah, they kind of are. Oh, this, this disappoints me. Because any resistance that there was going to be to Commonwealth, Austrian, and Prussian expansion was going to be led by these two. And they're both going to be weakened. So at least for half a session, it's going to take to recover. Not to mention if Arabia and Andalusia keep fighting and actually start exchanging territory. I mean, they could easily buy and sell that stuff back again, but that costs prestige. Prestige is morale. Austria's taking advantage. I mean, Austrian expansion was always going to be happening in Naples. I'm a little bit surprised it took them this long. I was expecting the uh, Austrian conquest of Naples to have happened like a session ago, if not two. Calico is going to be so mad when he gets in. Calico is two hours late at this point. He said he was going to be late, but he's usually like half an hour, not two hours. Just double check my Discord, but I'm fairly sure that he has not said anything around. Said anything about this. <laughs> 